check the description box below for tabs and backing tracks on my website, information about exactly what sound tools I'm using today, and all the important links that keep me in business. <laughs> With the recent and sudden passing of frontman, guitarist, and visual artist Rick Froberg, I want to take this week to shine some light on this very influential but somewhat unknown band from me, Drive Like Jehu's Yank Crime. Uh, it's streaming. You can still find that record, you know, because this stuff is from the 90s, is up there in that same rarefied, reverent space as television's Marquee Moon. As in, records that... I was one kind of musician before I heard it, and then I was never the same again. Like, just mind-bending, life-changing stuff. Disclaimer. If you like screechy, unpredictable, unhinged shit. I do. Now, let's go ahead and look at the layers of Do You Compute. That's the song we're going to break down today. So let's start with the bass line. <laughs> That's out of minor pentatonic. Let's take a look and then we'll talk about it a little bit more first. Uh, we got O and then seven, five, and five over there. That's the first half. And then repeat the front of the motif. We just got three and three there. So it's like mostly E diagonal minor pentatonic. I have a lesson on these called diagonal pentatonics. Um, they're, they're killer scales. Uh, okay, let me play it um, one more time. We'll talk a little bit more about it. Yeah, we got one note that's not minor pentatonic, this C natural here. That does break it up nicely. Next thing I'd like to discuss before we get into the guitar layers is this song is a waltz. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's weird. You don't hear a lot of heavy stuff that's waltzes. And that's definitely part of, you know, as Rick Beata would say, part of what makes this song great. Now, Rick, his guitar part against that is... Let me double check my tuning there on those two strings there. No, that's right. Yeah, my intonation's in. Okay, that is 12 and 12, and then there's gonna be a little 11 there. So it's really just, and then that's all that little jangle part is. But again, this is some wisdom to take from that. So much of the time, it's really not about your part being the most interesting thing. It's about the song being the most interesting thing. And that's definitely something that you can take away from, well, television, Marky Moon, and Drive Like Jehu, Yank Crime. And there's like a really interesting overtone thing that happens as a result. Rick's layer is crazy because this is like, is E major. The bass line is minor pentatonic, so you get friction there because there's a, a D sharp note, D natural over there in the bass, so there's friction already. And John, I mean, I've never heard someone use harmonics to this great effect. <laughs> So that is fourth fret on the low E string. And yeah, you know, you have to have gain for this to come through. I'm using Octave Fuzz, Strymon Deco, and um, my buddy sent me this, like, what are these things called? The Power Tube Reactor from Korg that simulates amp sag. That's a useful pedal. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, it, yeah, the, yeah, putting them all together to get as much out of this. And this is the guitar I have that has the most sustain. But anyway... Seven on the D, seven on the A. So that first part. And you know, John's playing through a, a JCM 800 with his silver sparkle as Paul just dimed, just absolutely dimed. 
the the crazy part is the second half of this phrase we can still see the guitar right yeah is is it's kind of the third fret on the e and the a but the harmonic isn't quite on the fret at that point you have to be just a little bit in front of the fret so there you go you're here we go Which, if you break that down that into standard notes, that becomes... A very, again, E major guitar part against that bass line. Neat, neat, neat. And let's see, the, I didn't include everything. You know, there is like a whole like lengthy intro that's like a... Staying there on that D, four and two, three and two, two, and then it's, sometimes he puts that one in and he brings it back forward. That's like the weird John Reese intro there that he does. But um, the break is this is such a emo thing. And yeah, Drive Like Jay Who are credited with being post hardcore proto emo mass rock. But anyway, yeah, major seventh chords are such a uh, emo trope. So that's like, you know, here's a C, but then just three and four. And then we got a gypsy jazz chord, an F sharp minor six. That's just, we can see that two, two and one. Now I had to fret and play. This 11 on the B up to 12, the flat five to the five. Flat five's always a scronky interval. Um, but his, John's feedback through his JCA, JCM 800 is taking care of that on, on, you know, in real life. Now, the only other thing I'll include, because, yeah, the, the real moment of aha in this song is, is the guitar solo. Um like the idea that a guitar solo section in a song isn't necessarily fun, totally, but the idea that a guitar solo is like just a chance for a sonic event to happen. And, and so, yeah, the guitar break is both of them going, doing variants of... That's still just E pentatonic. That's still blues, but just scronked, just just aggressive. So slide, open, slide, open G, and then you're gonna get 12 and 12. It's not hard. It's not hard, but boy, it's cool. Here, cut to it. That's all we'll talk about for today. Thanks so much to everybody who supports me in all the ways that you do, be it like, subscribe, and share. That keeps me in business with the algorithm relevancy, which generates website traffic. On my website, you can book one-on-one -on -one lessons with me to learn guitar or just have someone help you sort out what you can be doing with your limited time to move forward. There's Patreon, which I kind of, I feed a lot of things into Patreon, like these tabs. Um, I, I'm going to throw all this stuff up for free again, because I, I know that this isn't going to take me long to tab this stuff out. So it's going to be on the website. It's also going to be on Patreon. Please consider supporting me for as little as $2 a month. Or if you're like, you mentioned courses, yo, truefire.com, I'm always making these big 
big deep dive courses with the folks over there. That's my business. As Bill and Ted would say, be excellent to each other. That includes yourself. Happy Friday. Eat pizza.